Have you seen them before? These little yellow two-seaters? They're called go-cars. If you have, but you haven't seen a group this size taking a tour together. So we, this is our family reunion. Luana Clark is the convener of this reunion, the Copeland Anderson Sanders family reunion. All 23 of them from points near and far around the country. More from them in a moment, but back to the go cars and how this all works. It starts in a little building on Mason Street in Old Town. When parking the gun car, do as locals do and curb the wheels. Everyone grabs a helmet. Then, time to go to the go cars and get a little more tutoring from a go car crew member. And we're off. My photographer Carlos and I jumped in our own go car and followed this family reunion group for their Gas Lamp Quarter and San Diego Harbor tour. On the San Diego Avenue. A pre-recorded tour guide does double duty, giving directions and pointing out the sights. Coming up on the left at Harney Street is the Whaley House, the officially designated haunted house. Eventually, we're headed south on Hancock Street, nothing too touristy to see here. As we move toward Little Italy, the whole group is hanging together and... Apparently having a good time. Get out for a minute or two and watch the sky over the top of the green building. No big deal for San Diegans, but a sight worth seeing for tour takers. Airplanes coming in for a landing at San Diego International Airport. While we pull over and wait for a plane, the rest of the crew catches up. We are now in Little Italy's warehouse area. The trip through Little Italy is filled with stops and starts. This is Little Italy, after all. Waterfront is the oldest legal bar in San Diego. As we move farther south, it becomes a challenge to keep this family together. But then comes a left turn with the Blue Pacific straight ahead. With the group back together, we continue south, passing by one of San Diego's crown jewels. The large sailing ship is the Star of India. First sailed from Britain in the 1860s, this is the oldest active ship of any kind in the world. We snake out of the Maritime Museum parking lot. One more piece of notable nautical history to check out. The USS Midway Museum, parked next to us, was active during three wars. The go-car tour guide points out when there are tours available at some of the sites along the route, like the Midway. For $15, you could tour the aircraft carrier, which includes some cool aircraft. All along the way, this familial caravan of nearly two dozen go-cars gets the looks from pedestrians and the occasional bike rider. How you doing? Good, have fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Back out onto Harbor Drive, next destination, the Gas Lamp Quarter. We brush past the convention center, a tip of the hat to Petco Park, and before you know it, we're headed north on 5th. The last leg of the tour. We are now entering the Bankers Hill neighborhood. Paralleling the five, we make our way back to Old Town. We've almost finished our tour. Hey, we made it! And just like that, we're back. Nearly two hours flew by, and the organizer in chief is happy. So in the go-car, we were able to get our tan on, we were able to get our racetrack driving skills on. <laughs> Gail Copeland is all smiles too. It was lovely, the vegetation, the trees with the flowers on them, the blooming flowers. Pretty, very pretty. Patricia. I live in Cathedral City. Patricia Forte didn't have to come far, but she says the go-car tour gave her a whole new perspective on San Diego. It was nice and hear, hearing about the mansions that we got to see in the old district. Very informative, a lot of history, a lot of history. And for photographer Carlos Castillo and me, a chance to see and appreciate San Diego in a new way. San Diego! <laughs> yeah. The Copeland Anderson Sanders Group is now en route to the Maritime Museum. Here at the Go Car Place, the Go Car crew is getting the cars ready for the next tour of beautiful San Diego. John Carroll, KPBS News.